Welcome to Advising in Tavera. Each advisor has their own advising class in Tavera. Here is an example of a university faculty member's advising class. All of the advisees are enrolled in this advising class and the advising class contains all of the forms an advisor will need to complete on each student from the time they join the program through graduation. These advising benchmarks align directly with the content from our term-by-term -term advising meeting schedule and our advising manual. Each advising form, when opened and completed, feeds into the next, creating a streamlined document in which an advisor can see from start to finish all of the notes that they have taken in all of their benchmark advising sessions with each of their students. As you can see here, we start with checkpoint XX and move, sorry, X and move to XX and now we are at checkpoint one. Checkpoint one has been completed. All of these things have been reviewed with the student during the meeting. Everything has been checked off and the advisor has signed this. Now, this goes to the student. The student can then go into their advising class. They can look at a checkpoint number one and they can see it is in progress. They would then open that up and apparently there's a glitch in Tavera. Thankfully, Tavera is very good about fixing glitches. So what the student would do right now is they would come up here, they would go to this, they would go to help me and they would say, I need to contact support because I can't sign my form. So this will then populate with a request for them to be able to, um, to get help. They would also notify their university instructor to let them know that as well. So going back now, we're going to just pretend that that got resolved and, and it would. So that's a helpful thing. So we're going to go back here now to the instructor view and we are going to, actually we're not, we're going to take another look at the student view because as well as these checkpoints, um, this also contains uh, our advising course um, and our advising plan contains our professional development plan or PDP, which is a student initiated document that lives with the student throughout their time in the CMHC program. It's initiated in their first course and completed in five sections throughout the program. The professional development plan is specifically designed to help students develop a professional counseling identity throughout the program. Each part is reviewed at a specific time with the advisor and changes can be made to the form in an ongoing fashion in Tavera. Here's an example of part one of the advising plan. It gives us some very basic information like can we leave messages for the students? Uh, what is the home? Can we leave a message for that? It asks them to tell when they are expected to do certain things in the program and again, if you remember from an earlier demo, we can actually pull information on this form um, from that raw data form that I was running earlier. And so we can get all of this information collected into one place. So the student would fill this out in their very first class. They would then sign it, which then initiates um, a document for the advisor to sign in their own role in the advising class. These documents are visible to anyone given access, allowing continuity of advising should a faculty advisor happen to be on term off, leave the program, or should an administrator need to follow up on a student or a faculty issue for any reason. So these are two of the things that relate to advising in Tavera.